Hello, hope everyone's doing good today. Today I'm going to be looking at the pen that kicked off my fountain pen hobby, which is the Twisby Eco in cement grey. I stepped into a fountain pen shop here in Singapore um, with the intention of picking up a fountain pen. And at that time, and I think it still is, uh, Twisby was extremely popular. Right, uh, Twisby as a company has been around for like 50 years as far as I understand and they have actually been producing pens as an OEM manufacturer however uh, the Twisby Eco is this fairly new pen it's been around for only six years and this pen um, let's just go through what this pen is all about. There are a lot of um, reviews already on the internet about this pen. Very quickly, um, it's a see-through pen. It's a demonstrator uh, in uh, fountain pen uh, jargon. It's a piston filler. So basically, if you, if you uh, twist this uh, little piston at the end, uh, and it will actually move um, this seal up and down that will actually uh, suck in ink from from the nib when you insert it into a jar of ink and as you can see you can store quite a lot of ink in here i'm not sure of the exact capacity but you can easily put in i think maybe two milliliters of ink into this um this area down here as a pen itself, it can be totally dismantled. Uh, first of all, you can just pull like this and you can pull off the nib. Uh, just be careful when you put it back that you align it properly. Um, the rear piston area can also be dismantled. Um, namely, you just need to unscrew this bit. And the box itself that Twisby uh, provides it actually provides a wrench that you can just drop into this slot uh, and when you turn this it will turn uh, this another set of screw threads the other direction with the with the outcome of actually being allowing you to pull out this whole area down here the piston area uh, there are lots of videos on the internet to show you how to do that so i'm not going to go through that Nice things about this pen is, um, like I said, it's it's totally clear, which means, and you can dismantle it totally, which means that you can clean it out fairly easily after you've been using it for some time. Uh, other parts of the pen, the cap, there has been feedback from people on the internet that the cap is, is a little bit chunky. Like, as you can see, it's rather big. It has a nice Twisby logo on it. The clip is very, very tight, extremely tight. I can't even fit my fingers, fingernails through here. Uh, and in terms of posting the pen, I wouldn't do it because it makes the pen really, really long, as you can tell. Uh, I normally just use it unposted and it's long enough that, and it's light enough that you can actually write comfortably unposted for a long time. Uh, the section, which is my usual area, which I highlight in my videos, is very, very long. So you can position your grip either near the nib or even further back. And the screw threads are not uh, sharp at all. So it's, it's totally fine. Um, it's a very uh, easy pen to start off with and get used to, right? I mean, people with large hands can get used to it and people with smaller hands also can get used to it so this pen how it helped me in my fountain pen journey was uh, the first thing is when i went to this fountain pen shop um, that i mentioned uh, they actually asked me whether or not i wanted to check the nib uh, before i bought the pen i didn't right i said it's fine i'll just take the pen I was anxious to kind of take the pen and bring it back home and, and ink it up. But I really should have, right? So what I noticed, uh, you can't see it down here. But I noticed subsequently after I came back home that uh, there was a tiny bit of 
uh, misalignment of the tines. So um, as most of you will know, Twispy nips are made by this German company called Jowo, right? And I expected that you know the QC was very good. However, my particular pen had a little bit of, uh, you know, it wasn't hundred percent aligned, which was a, which was a bummer. But it taught me that I had to check uh, every nib which I, you know, which I buy from if I go to the pen shop directly to buy a pen. It also taught me uh, that I, you know, what type of what type of uh, pen size I liked. And it also taught me that I'm not, I'm probably not the type of guy who, who requires a piston filler, right? So I usually use fountain pens to write uh, maybe a page or two pages at a time. And I don't really need the capacity, right? When I first filled out this pen, it took me literally like three months for me to finish up the, the ink in, in this uh, in this area down here. So as a learning uh, device or learning uh, first fountain pen, it really taught me quite a lot in terms of what I liked and what I didn't like about pens going forward. Nitwise, there was another thing that I learned. So Joe being a German uh, brand, their nips are slightly broader than Asian nips. So this is actually a fine, right, which I, you know, but it's, it's not as fine as a pilot fine, right, which is uh, something to be experienced, right? Once you write on paper with this, you will notice that uh, the, the words come out to be a little bit broad uh, compared to Pilot Fine. And it's just a personal preference. Again, this was a learning pen. Uh, even though the nips, I mean, the tines were slightly not uh, well aligned, it still wrote good enough. Right, uh, so it's not a lost cause, but again, lesson learned. So conclusions about this pen, uh, it's a very good pen. It has great resale value, right? So after buying this pen, uh, if you decided that you didn't like it, you probably could sell it with not losing very much, right? which you, which can't be said with for a lot of the other fountain pens out there. Uh, and it looks cool, right? So I mean, when people think of fountain pens, they think of black pens with, you know, gold hardware and things like that. This doesn't look, uh, it looks, it looks the modern, right? So you perfect tool to let uh, maybe your loved one or someone that you want to get into the fountain pen journey, uh, kind of, you know, get, get, you know, into the hobby itself. So in terms of what the, pen comes with it comes with like i mentioned this little wrench it comes with nice box with uh u usual instructions and all that and it comes with this little uh bottle of uh, silicon grease which you'll use to you know i guess very occasionally you would use to lubricate the little uh, o-rings and the little seals down here if you need to so that kind of closes off my very quick look at the Twispy Eco. Hope you liked this video and uh, let me know your comments. Let me know which was your first pen uh, that you started off your journey with and you know what, what you actually learned from that first pen. So again, you know, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe and have a good one. Bye.